Hi people and welcome to yet another episode of Minecraft Season 6. Last time I turned into Emil Heskey, which was uh, not ideal. And we discovered age 3 was a really good age, so yeah. I like age 3, age 3 is a good place to go. It's a flat land, it's got lots of trees, sand, and a great place for quarrying and getting crystal as well. Amazing world, love it. So today I'm going to upgrade my solar panel systems because I can and I'm also going to look into getting the power suit which I believe Mr. Ozasoft wanted me to make a lot. Now power suit isn't actually that bad to make in terms of components but I do need this power armor tinker table to install modules and then I need to like make some items to install the modules and it gives me like flying abilities, rail guns, all that kind of crazy stuff. You can mine with it. Seems amazing, so I'm gonna look into that. But first, to the pa to the what are they called? Solar panels, yes, that's what I was gonna say. I've actually made quite a few of the components already, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. And so first things first, we need to do this to make four generators. Need to put the generators here. That need the coal dust, and we need a bunch of glass. And there we have four solar panels. Now, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Let's have a look at voltage. No, solar. I can't even spell voltage. Just low voltage. So you need eight of these in the LV Transformer. I don't want to use the LV Transformer if you already used, so we're going to make a new one. So a coil. We need a bunch of these hammered out again. Ah. Bunch of these hammered out. And then we need to cut it all. And then... Ah. Uh, I do have two <laughs> copper cables. Whatever. Right. Oh no! I made them... What have I done? What have I done? I wasn't supposed to do that. I believe I can strip it again. No, I can't. Po, po, or a stronger word than po that I really want to say. But I'm trying to keep it PG. I needed them uninsulated, you see. Ah, uh, that was annoying. Well, I've got some extra copper cables. I'll get. I'll use them someday. Coil, yeah. What else do I need for this solar array? Planks and some. 10 cable insulations. Let's hammer out a bit of tin. I said a bit of tin. Let's cut that. Let's add some rubber to that. Let's also nab some planks. So we need those. Alright. Let's have a look at this in the crafting grid now. So a coil. 10 wires. And some oak. There we go. Now the final thing we need to do is to reclaim my solar panels. Now there's a chance that I might not be able to reclaim all of them, which would suck a great deal. Now hopefully we can. Alright, electric wrench time. Have we got some blocks to get up? Yeah, I've got some cobble. Nice. Alright. Time to climb up on the roof and reclaim my solar power. And then I will upgrade this. Eventually we'll have better solar rays, right. So, got that one back. Yes! I have them all! Back to base. Diamond drill. My handy mining tool, which I probably won't need to use eventually because the power tool I have. Alright, let's craft this up then. Bunch of solar panels. Yeah! LV solar array. Which... It's the, exactly the same as having eight, but it only takes up one block, so that's pretty awesome. And we should get some more EU per tick now. Let's nick, put that there. I might as well get, leave the cable in there because we will make more LV solar arrays as and when we decide. So let's have a look at the power situation in here. How is it going? Ooh, not too bad. Let's repair everything. There we go. Awesome. We do. 
We're getting like more than one a tick. We're getting some numbers. Good. And the cows keep respawning. You know, I've actually cleared out this cow ban three times already. So I'm getting a good supply of leather now. Which is great. Give me all that. Kill them all. Doesn't matter about killing them all off because a, a ton will spawn, trust me. Oh. You don't even need to trust me. It's a cow spawner. It's going to spawn cows. Especially when it's daytime. So there we go. See, it's already spawned one. Brilliant. Right. I'm actually running out more room. I do need to look into applied in logistics power. Um, applied in logistics kind of storage and stuff like that eventually. But at the moment, we will stick with the chest system we have at the moment. Which... Yeah, it's not the greatest, but it will do for now. Stick that in there. Probably need to cook some of this meat, as I do want some extra food. Uh, put these in here, maybe. Sure. There we go. Alright, so the raw aluminium is cooking. We'll be using that for Tinker's Construct, Forgery, and other stuff eventually as well so I don't want to touch on most mods I can like as usual there's like more mods than I'm probably gonna use but I'll try and touch on ones that I have a use for anyway whoa that spawned four cows at once wow the cows really want to be here today all right so we're gonna need to look into the building that tinker table in a minute we need to build a bunch of uh, ingots as well. It seems it's pretty much just an industrial craft add-on. Now, it still uses the old refined iron method for a lot of these parts. Which is, uh, refined iron has been totally phased out in the new versions of IC2. So eventually they're just they're going to be iron plates. I'm telling you that now. Power suits will use iron plates. I guarantee it. Maybe I should... What's it? What? What did I press? Favorite potions, uh, possession. I'm not sure what I pressed, but I like it. Oh yeah. Anyway, there you go. Any eye. Power suit. What? No. Uh, power. Where's my power suit stuff? There it is. So I need. Two electronic circuits, four, six, eight, eleven. So eleven times six is sixty-six. We have to make sixty-six copper cables. Or oh, fifty-six, because we have ten. Alright, so we need cutters, we need some hammers, we need a bunch of copper, we need a bunch of iron, because we're going to make to make some more forged hammers. Ah... Uh, in fact, we're going to need a load of refined iron. Probably should count the refined iron I need because... Three... And there's six, so there's nine. That's fourteen, sixteen, eighteen refined iron. Uh, refined iron, you're still a thing. There we go, eighteen refined iron. Coming up. Uh, raw aluminium can go in here yeah, for now. The reason why I cooked just aluminium because it was the gravel, and the gravel can't be macerated, the gravel stuff apparently. So, anyway, let's go on to mashing out some 56. That means I'm gonna need. What's half of 56? 28? I'm gonna need 28 ingots. All hammered out. Probably not enough hammering. Yeah. Okay. Let's make another one. Hammer out the rest of them. So we have 20 of these. Now we need to cut all these. And then we need enough. Do we have enough rubber for all this? We do actually. Nice. Uh, let's make it day. We don't want our solar power to go to waste here. Gives us a buffer for the night, but 
Might as well make it day. I'm next to my bed, so... And it's better to be with power than to be without. Alright. So I have 66 of these. Now I need a bunch of redstone. I need a bunch of iron plates to go in the electronic circuit. So I needed... What is it? 18 of them? So I need 18 plates. There we go. Now we're going to en masse make some of these. Alright. I don't think I needed 18 of them today. I needed. No. I definitely didn't need 18 of them. Oh well. I have some spare. There you go. More of them. More of them. And one more. Eleven of these. And I believe we're refined irons already as well. Alright. Let's make some of this stuff. So this is going to be the helmet. And this is going to be the chest piece. Hopefully I've got enough... Hopefully I'm calculated right here. Or counting right, anyway. Because it's not really calculating when you're counting stuff. There we go. There's the leggings. And now I just need the boots and the power fist. Do I have enough stuff? I should have. Power fist. What is the powered hoe for? Obviously I know what it's for. What mod is it part of? Shift. Chargeable hoe. Oh, he does three by three areas. Cool. Shift. It's a useless until you add some modules. Alright. What's the recipe for it again? Like that. And we have a power fist. Alright, I'm guessing you have to give it some energy. I'm guessing we have to make the tinker table. Now, does the tinker table hook into the power supply? I'm not sure, but I'm going to build it in the other place anyway. I need an emerald, an electronic circuit, and a machine casing. Actually, the iron plate worked out very well, because for iron casing, you need eight of them anyway. So, there we go. Going to have to make some more electronic circuits. Oh, God. Um, we need to cut that. Eight users left. Nice. Alright. And we need to bash out another one. <laughs> and make that electronic circuit. I believe we do have a single, singular emerald in our chest somewhere. So we can actually make one. If I can find it. Somewhere in there. Aha! Singular emerald. Found it. Now, how did I make this? Like that. And that. Power tinkle. So, can I just use this? I'm going to put it in my other place. Just in case I need to hook it into the power or something. Now I have to make modules and stuff for this. So I can, like, effectively use the suit. Now, I may as well just plonk it here for now. I'm not sure if it connects up. It doesn't look like it connects up. So let's wear my suit. Get rid of all this. Suit. So, I didn't do quite that. I need to put the helm there. Alright. So the helmet. Look at all this stuff we can do. Oh yeah. Power first. You can have blink drive. You can have diamond drill upgrade. I would love that. So I would need diamonds and a solenoid. What else can I go on this? Uh, field tinker module. So, the person who told me to build this power suit, what kind of stuff do I want? I'm guessing I definitely want the drill upgrade. Uh, I need pickups module to work. So I need I would need the pickaxe module first, which is this. I guess then I probably want most of the tool upgrades, like the axe, the shovel, uh, the Omni wrench could be nice. Lux capacitor, that's pretty cool. 
grafter. Yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of grafting eventually. Oh, is there no like, scoop? Ah, oh, they should have a scoop upgrade. For, like bees. Bee up they could call it a bee update. Yes. I'll give you that one for free. Can have weapons. Apparently the blade launch is cool. It doesn't do like as much damage as other weapons, but it doesn't like overheat you. Uh melee assist is pretty cool. Plasma cannon's like pretty awesome. Railgun like makes you it has a massive knockback. Uh, we, we need like batteries as well for stuff. But uh, the more the bigger the battery, the more weight it has, and it will cause things not to work. Mm. So how do I get the batteries? I need LV capacitors. Lots of stuff. All right, tell me what I need. Tell me what I need. Can I? I guess I can't use this at the moment. Anyway, I might as well walk around with the armor on. But, yeah, kind of like this. It's not very good at the moment though. All right, so we made the power suit. Brilliant, and we've upgraded the solar panel. Now, I'm gonna think about the quarry. Now I'm doing it in the other dimension, so I need a quarry. I need to power the quarry, and I need somewhere to store all the stuff from the quarry. Now, what do I do about that? Do I use... I could start Railcraft soon, because I do have Mistcraft in place now. I do have the crystals. I could do the book receptacles and things like that. So it's possible to do the Railcraft stuff if if I start making the rails. Now, I do have some creosote oil in some bottles. And I do have access to a load of track. So it is possible to start that. Now... Someone wants me to use Ender, the Ender storage. Now I'm not sure how that works. Let's have a look. Ender. I believe it's the Ender tank and Ender chest and you have Ender tank. And this would be for storing lava and other liquids, I guess. Does it work dimensionally? How does Ender Tank even work? Not too sure at the moment. Ender Face! Let's make an Ender Face. What's it do? Who knows? Actually, it's part of Ender IO mod. I know that. Ender Backpack. Ender Species Serum. Ah, oh, that's B updates. Alright. So, yeah. I do... I do want to do a like, multi-dimensional quarry sort of system where it loads into something... Probably could use the ender chest for the storage uh, This one and then like use the, the same combination there and here so I can access it this side Now for the power that's the problem because I was thinking of using Thermal expansion to transport the power around now thermal expansion has got its own power system now So I can't really do that so what's the best way to generate build craft power? I guess it would be electric engines from my own like EU supply. Now I could use railcraft, uh, a steam boiler to do it, but then I need water to pump into that. So I probably need to make an aqueous accumulator, and have a big storage of water. Ah, ah, stuff to do, much stuff to do. And then to store that war, I need the Railcraft tanks because I believe that's the best storage system for a lot of liquid, anyway. So, I think I'm going to leave it here. We made a power suit. I've got some things to think about here and what I'm going to do next. Anyway, we've made a power suit. Tell me what modules I should go for first and I will try and get them upgraded sorted. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.